Hey, we're back. Let's do it to it. Puzzle rush time. Yes, it is. Let's work hard to get a good one. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Come on, win some material here. Come on, win some material. That's mate. Come on. Win a queen. Come on. Uh, let me see here. Win a bishop. Um, okay. Okay, we play here. That wins material. Boom, it's a rook. Um, okay, we push here, and that's mate. After that, after that. The queen wants to intercept. More power to her. We'd mate anyways. Okay, Doki. Uh, well, let me see here. No, let me see if I play there. No, no, no. What would be the move? What would be the move? <clears throat> uh, okay. Trying to see what do we have? Oh, it's black to move. Okay, it's black to move. Let me see. What do we get for? Um, hmm. I don't know. It's white to move, so it is white to move. <clears throat> hmm. What am I missing here? There's something. Well, maybe it's pawn takes here, queen takes, bishop there, yeah. Oh, really? That is really odd. I'll have to take a look at that next time. That's really weird. Bishop takes, actually picks up a rook and, and actually mates to boot there. Now, this is checkmate with queen takes. Uh, knight takes and then queen checkmate. Oh, we win a queen, and then we mate. So it's unstoppable mate. This move right here to add g5 is mate. Uh, okay. Okay, this actually wins a bishop, so. Check, and we uh, win a knight. <clears throat> and then when the king moves or a queen intercepts, we take and win the bishop. So we take there and then win the bishop. So we're up material. Uh, okay. So it takes here, here, check. If it goes back, then we win the knight. <clears throat> hmm.
Yeah, this actually wins material after clean taste. That's me. Okay, Doki. Let's see, what do we have here? Night check. Actually, if we uh, take here. Let's see, if we take there. Pawn takes. Check. Back here, so we don't really win much. We do, we could win material after knight takes, and then we win the rook, so let's do that. <clears throat> then we can actually play uh, queen back to g4, and we're good to go. Uh, okay, Doki. Uh, we have a check. He moves there. Uh, we take rook here. Rook, uh, well, I guess we can't play there. We could play. Nope. 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 Uh, let me see here. Maybe we we could win a bishop. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. If we take here, rook comes over. We actually, I believe, we could win a bishop. At that point, we win a bishop. Yeah, let's win that bishop. I believe that's the only move that wins. Let's see if we play um, <clears throat> knight takes. And then if uh, takes, then we check and we pick up a piece. So let's do it. Okay, uh, rook takes. Uh, rook takes, queen takes, bishop takes. No, we don't win much with that. We actually uh, equalize, and it doesn't turn out anything good in our favor. Um, let's see here. Yeah, okay, rook takes e1, check. Rook takes e1. Queen takes c1, bishop takes c1, rook takes c1. We do win three pieces for the queen. Is that enough? Let's go for it. I think it's enough. Yeah, we win three pieces for the for the queen. I think that's enough. That's enough material. Okay, if we play rook c6, or takes c6, king takes c6, and the pawn rolls up the board. So let's do it. Um, Alright, this actually wins material. Uh, well, he does intercept knight takes, then bishop takes, pawn takes, and so you grab the bishop. Okay, go for it. Now you grab the knight, and you grab the bishop, you win material. Okay, if we have check here, he moves in there. We could try here. I think this is the winning move. Let me see. A queen here. King e6. And I think we can actually win a rook there. That's the only way to. Other ways it doesn't work. <clears throat> it's the only opportunity to win a rook. Okay, so check there. King comes in here. Takes, takes, takes. Let's do it. Save the game right there. That combination's a combination saver. Okay, if we play rook takes, if knight takes, 
than Queen Mate. Yeah, we're gonna get there. We'll get there. One uh one puzzle at a time, right? Let's see here. Pawn takes and then check. He comes up. And I believe that's checkmate. So let's let's go rook takes, because that, that actually wins. Yep, exactly. Okay, Doki. <clears throat> hmm. Trying to figure this out because I see that there's a weakness on G7. We just have to somehow. Let's see. How do we take advantage of a check? Oh, I got it. Queen takes is a uh, that wins. Queen takes here. Check. Takes and then mate. <clears throat> you have to sometimes. Um, Pry open the king to go for the win. Okay, I'm thinking rook um, g3 is strong, and if queen d7, queen f8, rook there, mate, yeah, let's do it. Rook g3 is winning. That wins. And then mate. Uh, let me see here. Uh, do do do. Okay. Let's see what are we gonna do here. Um. The pieces are really spread across the board. Let me see if we play queen e4, queen e4 check, queen, oh, queen, king would have to move, because queen can't go to f, uh, uh, I mean g6, because then he would lose it to knight takes g6, or actually better would be queen takes g6 check. Yeah, that'd be much better. Um, okay. Let's see, queen e4, check there. I think that, I think it's queen e4. And then we actually can check here. No, I don't know if checks there is right. see here if he comes up there we actually could play rook if he comes there we actually have mate at that point I'm thinking that actually wins material because if he comes over here we have rook there
very tough to uh, decide if, if it's Route 2 1 first. I don't think it is. Well, let's see Route 2 1. Maybe Route 2 1 is first there. That does side the sideline the Route 2 1 is interesting because if the rook comes here, it cuts the king off. Yeah, I enjoy doing tactics. Tactics are fun, but they are challenging. That's how, that's the only way you can get better. Oh boy, boy! I'm thinking I'm maybe I'm thinking night. The night um, three six is too soon. Well, maybe. Let me see there, 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 there. Oh, it wins a rook. Oh, silly me! If we play here, he comes there. I actually can wait, pick up a rook. There we go, right there. That that would pick a rook up. So here, here, rook. Then I can bring the rook over. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, that wins a piece. Okay. Uh, queen takes. Uh, he's six. Pawn, let me see. Then push takes push there there there. Queen, queen. Hmm. Okay, we have to calculate this here. Well, we always uh, we got to keep always on track of our studies. That's what I've always learned is uh, you got to keep uh, keep your focus on your task at hand. Let me see here. So here, 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 there, there, there. There, there. Ah, we he he gets it just in time to grab it. Okay, so that that doesn't work. Okay, so here, here one. If he does to say takes two, there, queens here, and then we have enough time to come back and and stop the pawn. Okay, let's grab the queen. Start the push. The other way, uh, he's close enough to uh, stop our pawn, and we don't want that. Sometimes you have to calculate in your mind, uh, is it beneficial to uh, go for that pawn takes, or just let him do it, and then be the first to queen, and then stop the pawn. I'm thinking that queen... E4, which threatens me. Yeah, Queen, uh, yeah, the Lord's given me a gift of calculation, so I can't take all the credit. And I, you know, I that's what I always got to remember is he's the one that gives talents out. Okay, let's see. I uh, do. Let's see if it takes here. That's mate, so we, we can't do that. Let me see here, there, here. Takes, takes. Check king there. Bishop takes. King takes. I think we're up material on that line. Okay, let's let's go with it. Now you take here. And if bishop takes, you remember we take, and then after king here, then you can actually uh, take the bishop if you wanted to. Let's do it. There you go. Calculation is uh, important in chess. Uh, okay. Check there. Let me see, f7, knight, uh, king f8, Let's see. G8, g7, uh, b2, knight uh, h6, 
king h7, queen, king takes. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if uh, this works here. 97, that, yeah, that would, that would work. 97, I think is best. Let me see, 97. Takes. 97. Um, Rotacy 7, takes. That, yeah, this does stop him. Okay, but we have to calculate in if he pushes. So, here, here. There, up here. Yeah, I guess we could queen at that point. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, I like that. And then now we can actually check here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And that should be... I don't know if it's mate. Hold on, let me make sure. I, I don't want to queen and make a mistake here. Let me see. So, queens. King takes there. Then we can play. Okay, so if we queen here, let me just make sure queen, king takes. Okay, knight check. He comes in there. We do have check here. And if he take and if he takes the knight, we come in and stop that. But there's check here. Oh. Let's just queen. I like queen, and you know, there's so there's so much you can do, and it's beneficial. So we we can handle the calculation if they were to throw it at us. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. Thinking that um, ninety-five that attacks the pin piece, which is the knight. Then we take. We can actually take the knight at that point. Bishop takes. No buds. Hold on. One sec. Bro. Hold on. Baby, my my little sweetie. Okay, now back in the fray. Uh, let's see, that there. Actually, I think we win material. Let's see if we play um, knight d5. Let's say queen moves. We could play rook takes e7. Bishop check. Bishop takes right there. Yep, let's do it. This I believe is winning. Rook takes here, bishop takes, and then knight check, and uh, we win a boatload of material. Yeah, let's go with it. See, this is discovery check, double check. King would have to move over, and then we got mate. Yeah, this is mate. Uh, where can we see your current radio? Oh, <clears throat> yeah, the highest I've gotten on. Um, uh, survivalist was uh, 48. I'm trying to get into the 50s 
that was a tough uh, we did good there but I want to try to get to the 50s which would be nice that just comes with proper calculation focus and uh, using the gifts the Lord's giving you so yeah we'll get there we'll get there let me see um, Oh, the queen, okay. Boy, I want to checkmate. I want to checkmate on g7, but I really can't. Because if I move my bishop here, the queen grabs it. So, can't do that. Oh, let me see. Bishop, hold on. I think we have something here. Bishop takes f7. King uh, f8. And then bishop h6. Yes, this, win this wins right here this wins checkmate there we go just have to be focused and find the right move sequence let me see here um, let's say check on f6 king king g8 Hold on, let me see here. I think we got this. Let's see. Check, check here. King over, takes, knight takes, and I believe that's mate. Yep. Let's do it. This draws the knight away, which allows um, uh, checkmate there. Somehow have to win the. We gotta win the rook. We're gonna win this rook here. We have to win this rook with check somehow. So we're gonna have to find a way how to do that. Uh, sometimes I do both, but I'm really I'm really trying to break the. Uh, recently, I'm trying to break the 50 marker. So I've been doing um, a lot of tactics, and then we do in. At the very end, uh, we do like an end game with Magnus and Magnus end game. It's from one of the books. I'll show you. It's the this author here. We do that. We've been working there. Because uh, end game is as important as um, your uh, opening and middle game. It's where games are won or lost. Let me see here. Oh, I think in. Let me see. If we play check on d2, king's forced to e. Uh, e4. Then we check here. If he if he goes back. Then we actually have mate. Yeah, let's do it. If we check here, um, he goes back. That's checkmate. So he'll actually have to come over here, and then we actually win the queen. Okay, let's do it. All right, let me see. Do we have anything better than winning the queen? I don't think so. See queen f2. King moves back. Queen uh, uh, f2 check. King king e4. Queen takes f7. I think that's winning. Yeah. Okay, check here, and then king's got to take. Oh, rook can't come over because a bishop grabs it. So we could play check there. So let's. So queen here, king takes. Yeah. 
yeah, true. That's very true. Here, back. So here, he takes there, there, he goes here. Maybe we can push and win material. I'm thinking it's that. Okay, if we come in here, he takes, we can actually push. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking we're forced to check at this point. Yeah, I think we're forced to check. And then you, you'd have to push here. The king comes back. Well, yeah, that would be fun. I'm thinking the reason this actually works is King there, and then we take Yeah, okay, let's do it. Now we'll take here, and I believe that's almost checkmate. Yeah. Or maybe that was checkmate. <laughs> uh I think this, I think we can actually win material with rook takes, rook takes, queen check, queen takes, bishop takes, um, king moves over, and then we win a rook. So let's do it. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> Some yeah, I always sometimes it is uh, fun to watch. But if you have any like uh, move sequences you'd like to put in, you you can. Uh, we always make it kind of interactive. That's why I like doing um, survivalists on um, Puzzle Rush, so that if the audience has um, or the viewers or the, we we call them Team Chess Cruncher. Team Chess Cruncher has any lines they'd like to go over. We can analyze those and uh, key, you know, improve. So you have to. Always uh, be ready to learn something new. <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, See. Boy, this one's this one's kind of a tricky one. We have a pinned queen, so so the queen's pinned to the king, so it can't move. So how can we <coughs> excuse me take advantage of the pinned queen?
I'll give you a second. Maybe you can help me with that line. I'll be right back. Got to get a sip. I'll be right back. Take a look and see if you can put any lines out there, and then we'll go over them. Yeah, Ginger GM has one or seven Williams, yeah. Uh, Ginger GM has one, or Grandmaster Sam Williams has a, I think, a free one on there. Maybe I'll think about it, but right now we gotta see how far we could get in that in these tactics. Oh boy, let me see. I'm trying to. Uh, we don't want. We don't really have to take. Um, Maybe rook d1 is a strong move. Thinking, I'm thinking rook d1. Let's try it. Yeah. Let's try to go for 50. Rook d1 looks interesting. Because then if queen takes d7, uh, e takes d7, bishop. Um, e7 to stop the uh, queening then we can play d8 queen bishop takes d8 and rook takes d8 at that point it'll be something like this rook slides over queen takes pawn takes bishop there queens takes and then the rook grabs it. and then we're up a whole uh we're, we're up a lot of material at that point I'm thinking it's rook d1 because nothing else uh, works besides that. And this, there's really, this pin's really nothing. There, I guess there is bishop uh, e8. But that still doesn't do anything uh, after rook d1, bishop e8. Queen takes. 
Actually, we can actually play queen takes d6 at that point. That would win material too. Yeah, let's go uh, rook d1. There we go. Bishop takes knight, queen takes, bishop check. If pawn, check, bishop, checkmate. Hmm. Is that too simple though? We can't check first because c6 is guarded by the knight at that point. We might be able to play bishop takes e5 castles, and then we lose. Um, may, maybe it's queen d5. I'm not sure. Queen d5. That double attacks the knight. Think here. See if we play bishop takes, he can actually castle. And then we retreat our bishop back. We're up a p. We're up a miter piece. So that's that's a playable idea. Queen here. If knight uh, knight can go to g6, and then. Queen could take the rook at that point. So that's uh, that's this of here, and then c6. Queen takes e5. Queen takes e5. Bishop takes e5, and it's still we're up a minor piece, but queens are off the board. Is that strong enough for us? You have to, and some of these lines, when you get to a certain level, it's all the strongest line. I'm gonna go queen d5. That was stronger. Knight takes um, f6, knight takes f6, and then bishop f7 wins material. I mean, wins with mate. Yeah, let's go with it. Check. 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 
check. Hmm. Um, may have to check with the queen. So, kind of queen g uh, six is a forced line. I think we got. I think it's queen g six. I think we got this queen g six first. If we have queen, uh, I mean bishop f three. Queen uh, c2, bishop back. If uh, queen moves to um, c3, bishop comes in check, king moves over, and that's mate. So uh, they might try that. This threatens mate, so the queen has to pin our queen. Uh, so that this right there. Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's peculiar. Okay. Ouch. Uh, okay. That's mate. See, is there anything that he could do to stop that? Nope. Yeah, I should have probably calculated a little more on that one. I thought for sure I can threaten me, then come back, but it didn't work. I think there is a faster mate somewhere. Let's see, rook check, king up, uh, rook there, so that that works. Here, there, there. And we, he'd have to take, and then queen. So he takes queen, queen. Trying to figure out, do we have enough? I think we have enough to cover up attacks. I think we're, I think we're fine because we'd be up a whole rook, and that's enough to hold. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the rook. Yeah, cause. That, that's the uh, best way of doing it. I was thinking about bringing the rook over to stop the the queen, but I think that he could check at that point after takes. The same thing happens, so it doesn't really change the situation much. I think it actually might lose. Well, it might be a draw. Oh. It's a good thing we didn't make a mistake on that. So that was nice. Let me see, so we take here, uh, king check. King up, queen check, king over, rook check. Can we actually push at that point? Hold on, let me see some. Here. We 
comes up, check, comes there, push, queen takes, then we pick up a, we pick up the queen with the knight fork. So check comes over. Check queen takes. There. After that, yep. Let's go with it. So now we can queen. Queen takes and then check. And if king comes back, it actually goes there. And then we take a queen. Yeah. Oh, I hope that's right. Um, knight check. King comes up. Maybe I'll think about it. So this is actually a, uh, a morphe mating pattern. Check, you check there, he goes there, you take here, he comes back, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, no I think that might be wrong, I might be missing something. No, I think that, uh, that, oh, that wins a queen, that's right, it wins a queen. Comes back, then you win the queen. Okay. Yeah, you take care. That, and then uh, when he comes back, you can actually pick up the queen. Is that, wait, actually, no, we take, okay, yeah. You take here. Oh, wrong? Something, hold on. Okay. Alright, that. Let's see, where did I go wrong here? Ah, that's, that's the mate, okay. Okay, this one's interesting. This must be, oh, okay, it's that mate. That drat. Okay, so it's that mate. I missed, that was, that's another Morphe's mate. Huh, double check. Check right there. I was thinking that it, that if we played here, we can win the queen, but that continues the the line sequence. I was thinking here, there, but then we don't have this. Okay, I miscalculated that. So here, here, mate, queen intercepts, only move, forced, mate, okay. Okay. All right, we need to now go into we gotta do some of our end game studies real quick.
because that's this is usually what we do is we do end game a Magnus end game. Uh, he's been playing Vichy in the uh, end game uh, setup, so this is his second game with Vichy on. And Magnus is white again, and he was white last time too. It is. I enjoy. Uh, I I sometimes watch it. There's some good uh, streamers on uh, um, AlliedChess.org and um, some good ones. Like there was a really good one with St. Louis. It was the um, 960. They used the um, uh, ICChess.org or uh, AlliedChess.org for the 960 and that was pretty uh, fun to watch that was the one when Fabi was facing Gary Kasparov we may have to go over I'll have to go over some of those games I'll have to pull some of those games off we can go over those those are always fun uh, Gary the uh, he had a he's an attacker's attacker so it's good to see the mind of an attacker and then Fabi who's really flexible to see an inflexible player uh, facing a like I say a brutal attacker and we'll have to uh, uh, do that maybe tomorrow I'll we'll have to get that game ready I don't have it right now and I don't want to I wouldn't want to waste uh, chess learning time trying to look it up at this moment Because uh, learning is vital, and you have to do it when it's hot. You know, when the iron strikes or the iron's hot, you have to always uh, keep keep your learning process going. Okay, so that's good, good, good. Okay, all right. So wipe the move again. Studies. Let's go in and do Magnus Carlson. Here we go. Hold on. Okay, Vichy. We got to do another Vichy game. So got to re uh, put that in. Magnus versus where's Vichy? There we go. Is it the same one? Yep, it must have been. He faced him in round two and round six. This is round six in the same match. The other one's round two. Okay, let's do it to it. Uh, Magnus is white and Vichy on on is black. So King uh, Madness played King E2 in this end game, which one move uh, one move earlier Anon missed the tactical win that would occurred for uh, out of Madness Madness actually a uh, move or so ago I think made a mistake that could have uh, costed him the game but Vichy missed uh, the move and uh, Madness was able to move his king over. There's probably something to do along this uh, long diagonal here attack. Let me just move this just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So a3 for uh, Vichy. To, uh, he wants to put the pawn on the opposite color of his bishop so that his bishop has more flexibility. But one thing in Jeremy Silman's end game and um, his reassess your chess fourth edition. You'll notice that there's an imbalance in the position. The imbalance in the position is uh, there's actually a couple imbalances. Um, for the dark squared bishop, Anon has a knight, which Anon doesn't mind. He really actually likes knights. He says that he prefers knights over bishops, which they are very tricky pieces. So some do like knights over bishops. And uh, we notice that Magnus's pawn structure is kind of not so good. Um, so that's an imbalance and a negative for um, white. But Magnus, it, it can't be reached at this moment, which means targeted. So it's not a weakness yet. 
um, an imbalance also for uh, Matt uh, Anon is that his pieces aren't as active as Magnus's and is and, but he does have a really nice light square bishop who is attacking so you have to always look at the imbalances and you can make a plan based around um, your end games or your balances and if you ever get lost in a position just go and look at what imbalance do I have so I uh, if you're Anon you have a knight and you have a knight for a white star square bishop so you'd want to keep the position closed and you'd want to try to make your knight more flexible which would try to get it to some sort of an outpost like an outpost would be there but the bishop at the moment could actually trade off on f5 but you'd have to think of outposts just think of where can I put my knight that's most effective and of course knights love to be in the center especially with an anchor point like f5 but this bishop would, would just eat it up and go munch munch and then Anon's structure is, is horrible like Magnus is on this side it would be a horrible on the king's side so we will continue now onward uh, Magnus played f3 uh, this prepares for um, to I think it's to relocate the the bishop let me see and then he did rook d8 this uh, now controls the long open file king e1 to get off of this and this also uh, allows the bishop if he needs to to have protection to get to uh, E if it wanted to. And also the king is on the opposite color of um, the bishop. So that's always positive too. There was a uh, line that Magnus could have went down if he wanted to which would have been bishop takes G6, uh, F takes G6, and then rook takes G6, and then A uh, a4, rook a4, I mean bishop a4, with um, some ideas of a bishop a check here, or a rook infiltration as well. Makes sense now why Magnus played f3 here. He saw that uh, Vichy had this here. f3 uh, blocks the, the diagonal of his bishop. I mean, for Anna's bishop, that would have went to d1 after the exchange. That makes sense why he moved his bishop off. Now um, he can actually take with the bishop and win a pawn, just win lots of material. So the threat is uh, huge here. So a4, um, rook takes e8, and then bishop c2. Yeah, there's this this is a lot of uh, attack with here but it could easily be shut down with uh, rook to d6 so this is what white's advantage would be somewhat less convincing in the game if he would have played this way that's why I played rook e1 I mean uh, king e1 sorry uh, rook d7 uh, bishop c1 to go after the weak a6. See, every move has a drawback. And uh, it's a keto uh, a chest, that uh, drawback chest that Grandmaster Maurice actually talked about. That uh, theory, our um, way of thinking, helped uh, Maurice actually get to be a Grandmaster. It was that, it was that type of a uh, way of thinking. It kind of is very similar to imbalance but it's the imbalance of the weakness of a position. See, like imbalance for Jeremy Sillman will help you with an idea. Uh, the imbalance in like pushing this weakens the pawn because now there's really nothing. The only piece that can protect it is a rook on a, a8 and you don't want to give up your h6 pawn. 
Oh, so I did give up the, the pawn. Hmm. <clears throat> King e2. So activating the a rook, bishop a there. A4 check. Anna goes down with little resistance if uh, with King um, e6. Uh, bishop e6 is actually a mistake. I'll sh uh, we have to put a mistake mark here. He could have tried king a7, which is an exclam idea. And the bishop would have most definitely uh, grabbed the, the rook. The king takes. Then the bishop grabs the pawn. Uh, and on his down material, but it's at least holdable. It's not fun to play. I wouldn't want to play it. Rook d1. Rook takes h6. A1. King e3. Exclam by would have been exclam for Magnus. Um, knight takes e5. Rook g7. I take C uh, four check King F four D six ninety six King E five Root D one to protect the knight hold on to it Bishop C one White should win in this line given by this was an engine that it was given by. So, but it would have been, it would have held more of a resistance. Takes on uh, g6. F takes, rook takes. Rook a4. Rook takes e6. So, let's see. Anon has four pawns. Magnus has six. So he's uh, up two pawns. Rook d1. Takes h uh, a three. White has far too many extra pawns. King a one. A rook a one. King e three. And uh, bishop to uh, c two. And then e a rook e seven check, which is really strong here. Black has really no good answer to this powerful intermezzo uh, check. It forces the king to a6. And then uh, rook takes h6. And now that's uh, threatened there. Rook takes a2. And then bishop takes c5. And there's just way too many pawns. They uh, might have started with an extra pawn, converted his attack, and basically just slowly but steadily demolished uh, um, Anon's position. And he's four pawns to Anon's one, which is so overwhelming. Let's see what do we got here. Excuse me. I think we're probably going to uh, call it right here. Let me see. Let's see how many people we got on. Yeah. So, do you have any questions on this game before I uh, log off? that as a no. Alrighty. I want to thank you for logging on, participating, and uh, we'll have to I'll have to bring a Fabi game versus Gary uh, in the nine sixty. I'll see if they uh, have posted that on Fabi's games. 
we'll uh, we'll hunt that down and then we'll we'll look at some of those. Then we'll look at some of the games that Nakamura played against Levon. So we might have a uh, game uh, day tomorrow. Rather than uh, doing puzzles, tactical puzzles, we'll go over um, like some Nakamura versus Levon games. Excuse me, and then we'll go over Fabi versus Gary's Kasparov, and we may uh, take a look and see uh, some of Wesley's. We'll see how that goes, and we'll uh, we'll get a couple of them and have some fun. And you know what? We have to remember to take what you know and apply it. Be willing to do something with it, and always uh, keep in mind that tactics, end game, tactics and end games are vital. Opening is great and everything, but once you, uh, after like move 15 or 20, you're into the middle game, and you have to know what what you're doing in the middle game. That's where the tactics kick in, and patterns. And when you get into the end game, you have to know your end game. So we'll have to do some end game with Jeremy Silman too. I have his end game book, and we'll go over that. Then we'll have some fun. But in the end, it all comes to a choice about. Um, honoring the Lord Jesus, receive him as Lord and Savior of your life, and um, keep pushing forward, ask the Holy Spirit to come in, teach you, he says he would, and he doesn't lie, and the one thing we have to do too, is remember to, we have to do our part too, so you have to study to improve, and it takes time, if you're going to go for your GM title, or your NM, or your uh, IM, or FM, whatever title you're uh, pursuing, remember to uh, always honor the Lord with the gifts you have, and ha keep having and keep having fun. Okay, with that, we have to remember the chest cruncher model of hanging up your coats, hanging up your hats, sitting down and studying when most won't. Team chest cruncher does, and that makes all the difference. And as Wesley so says, serve the Lord Jesus. As I say, God bless, and I'll see you next time on Chess Cruncher TV. Have a blessed morning, afternoon, and evening, and Lord will, and I'll be back on tomorrow. And we'll keep pushing forward, honoring the Lord with the talents that he's given us, and uh, having fun and going over some games. Remember, though, what Hannibal Smith said on the A-team. There is no randomness in any position. I mean, in, inside of a random position, I mean, there is a plan. And we just have to find it. Forcing moves are strong. So just keep that in mind. If you get your opponent in a forcing move, there's two results. A win or a loss. I mean, a win or a draw. So, great job. Hoorah. Go team uh, Chess Cruncher. Be blessed. And uh, I will uh, see you tomorrow. So, bye-bye.